We're here. Cheers. By popular demand, by mass majority, we are going to be eating the snack box. Now, a couple wait, wait, wait. things. You didn't say we had to eat the box. Okay, not the box. The snacks in the box. Mm. I mean, mm, but okay. Before we get started, grab your drink. This looks like a coffee mug, but... It is a coffee mug. There is not coffee in it. This would be tequila and pompamoose. Pom 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 oh, no, no. That's grapefruit. Passion fruit LaCroix. This is one of my fave LaCroix, which actually now I have room to finish it. Tequila, a little lime juice, and a little salt. Tell the nice folk. Do you not, do you not do you want me out of the frame? Is that what that is? You're in the frame. Okay. <laughs> How about we're both in the frame? No, no. Now you're just being ridiculous. That's why you wanted me here, didn't you? <laughs> what are you drinking? I'm drinking hot cocoa. Don't let him fool you. That's boozy hot cocoa. There's a sheep on the bottle! <laughs> Here's the thing. I am not a whiskey drinker. Doesn't matter. It's not whiskey. That is, it's peanut butter, right? Yeah. Peanut butter whiskey. If y'all like whiskey, and actually I did try it and it's not terrible. It's not very whiskey -y. Yeah. I still can't do it though, dude. I just can't do it. Sure you can. Take a hit. No. Mm -mm, no, I'm drinking tequila already. And it it it's good for you. Go grab your drink. We're going to get started. Have they grabbed their drink? I don't know. Have you grabbed your drink? First off, let me say that this is not a regular episode. No, no, no. Uh-uh. I'm going to spring something on Danny. He's not going to be happy about it, but he's going to do it. This is not a regular episode. This is the snack box episode. My friend Joyce sent this. And some of you said Chinese. I, do you have your phone? Mm -hmm. Look this up quick because I swear it said Japanese on the thing that I got. Hello Kitty Sanrio. Yeah, it's a Hello Kitty. Uh, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at these little, that. look at the little peoples. Line starts here. Oh my gosh, mm. the cuteness. I'm sure there are a couple people who are not interested in this video and that's cool. There is nothing fiber about it. This is just Dan and I being silly and eating the snacks in this box. I'm going to make this a double video, which you will be able to see from the headline of the headline, the title of the video. I was tagged by Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter in the 20 questions tag. And what that is, is it's a bunch of, I think it started with the crocheters. I'm not sure that I've seen any knitters do it, but what it, Japanese. Okay, so they're Japanese snacks. Back to the tag. I don't think I've seen any knitters do it, but the whole premise of the questions, which Dan can participate as well, is it's 20 questions not related to your fiber life. It's related to- I told to you I don't know where that video came from and just because it looks like me doesn't mean it's actually me. <laughs> right? Doppelganger. I didn't do it. Maybe I did. Okay, back to the snack box right quick. Y'all are all feeling sorry for Dan. Well, some of you are feeling sorry for Dan. Don't feel sorry for him. First off, I'm not making him do this. He enjoys these videos. I won't make him eat the candy. He's not a big candy <coughs> lover. I'm hoping there are non-candy things in here. Did you know that you're not supposed to twirl it around per the Queen of England? She drinks hot cocoa with screwball whiskey? Who <laughs> <laughs> knew? I don't know, she might. I learned this at tea. It's true, she might. On tea, or watching some tea video. Did y'all know this? You're not supposed to stir your tea around. Wait, wait, you watch videos on how to drink tea? I don't know where. I watch videos on all sorts of shit, yo. Okay. <laughs> you're supposed to go back and forth, and you're not supposed to make any clinkies. Well, that's no fun. Right? Just thought Whatever. I'd share that little random fact with y'all. Apparently, I'm not. You're not bougie? Who knew? You're not somebody that would fit in at high tea. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> I would. Okay, so we are going to eat some snacks from Japan that 
our good friend Joyce sent to us. And at the same time, since this is a non-fibery video, I thought it would be perfect to do the non-fibery tag. I thought some of these questions were dumb, so I changed them because, you know, it's my video. And I do what I want. You have a grandpa eyebrow hair and I really want to pluck it. Well, good news, it's not a high def camera, so I asked if the Q&A was PG or not. The questions are G-rated. Who knows what right, the right. answers will entail. Okay. I'm going to start with this because I saw it. It's a little gummy bear thing and he has a honey pot. Do you think that they are trying to rip off Winnie the Pooh? Okay. Mm, you're probably not going to try one of these, are you? Probably not. And that probably wasn't the greatest idea to just chew that on my fresh root canal. That was probably stupid. Beans have a temporary filling. We'll chew on this side. Those are very good. I didn't even show it to you. I just shoved it in my, in my cake hole. Pot Isn't he hole. cute? Yeah, I like that. I'll eat those. First question. What does your name mean? You're asking me or you're asking them? Us. Any podcaster who's watching this and wants to do the tag, do it, please. Uh, anyway, what does my name mean? I don't have a foggiest idea. I know that it is mm. loosely based off Chivas Regal, which is a scotch. Now, my name is spelled C-H-E-V-A-S, which is pronounced Chevis. I believe that the bottle is Chivas, which is C-H-I-V-A-S. Yep. The Chivas brothers are from Scotland, and they are John and James, and they actually... This is gonna be foggy. You'll have to do your own research if you want like the full story. But it was like late 1700s, early 1800s. And they started a store selling like, like spices and coffee and stuff. I can't remember the story of how they got from that to whiskey, <laughs> but it's somewhere in there. It's so, scotch. Huh? It's scotch. Or scotch, sorry, not whiskey. Yes, thank you. Correct, correction. Scotch. I don't know how they went from a store to having a distillery. I missed that part of the story. <coughs> What's your name mean? I think it means my parents had no idea what to name me. It's biblical. It is. Daniel is. You'll have to Google what Daniel means. I'll Google what Daniel means. How about that? Okay, let's open something else. This says melon pandoro pandero butter cookie. Mm. You guys know I love me some cookies. It's Hebrew, meaning God is my judge. God is his judge, Hebrew. Oh, I thought yeah. this was a book. Oh, it's broken. Oh, you can't eat it now. This is a melon cookie, and I thought it was a bunch of little cookies, but I think it used to be... One large wafer. One large panda. That probably looked like that panda head. Yeah. It's bizarre and I love it. That is not a flavor you would think would be in a cookie, but it's super yummy. Nope, that's what I would think it tastes like. Really? Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. That's good. I would eat a lot of these. I don't like candy. It's not candy, it's a wafer, which is what I said I would eat if it was in here, because I like wafers with my cocoa. See, I am bougie. <laughs> Next question. Okay, this was, where are you from? You better come up with a whole lot more questions because you get a lot of candy in that box. No, 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 we'll keep going. Right. Where are you from slash, okay, so it was, where are you from? And the next question is, where were you born? I grew up in the middle of a cornfield in Ohio in Northwest Ohio, and it was all like basically the same place. So, Northwest Ohio. She completely lies. It was on the edge of the field, not in the middle. And it was a bean <laughs> field, not a corn field. For those of you who aren't farmers, a lot of farmers actually will alternate their crops. So one year their field will be corn, but the next year it will be beans. So whatever the field I was born near was the year I was born, I have no idea. It could be corn, it could be beans. Crop rotation, not alternation. And yes, in Indiana we do mostly beans and corn. And Ohio. The Midwest. Speaking of Indiana, that's where Dan was from is from, was born, both, all of the above. Like nobody really gets very far from home here. It's like a black hole. Does that say chi beans, chai beans? Yeah. 
I like the package. Is this, um, what's the, Jack of the Beanstalk. Is this poofy green beans? Doesn't that look like Jack of the Beanstalk? Yeah. I'm betting it's like your. Yeah, there's a little, there's a little Taj Mahali thing up there. I'm betting it's like your cheese poofs only with probably cheese. Ew. I'll bet you Nicole that's what that is. I don't like wasabi. I'll double down and say I'm gonna finish the package. He probably will. No, it doesn't smell spicy. That sucks. <laughs> Ew. I'm kinda looking forward to it. Actually, it doesn't smell like anything. I want him to try these first. <laughs> you have to show him. I love cheesy poofs. What do you think? They're weird and I probably keep trying terrible to... for you, but I'll eat them. They're like flavorless chili beans, or flavorless uh, cheese poops. Ew! No, it tastes like peas. It's in between, it's at least here in the States, it's in between a cheesy poof. I'm, I'm doing it wrong. It's in between, well, I want them to see it. It's in between the texture, a cheesy poof, and a crunchy Cheeto. It's somewhere mm. in between there, except it tastes like peas, which is weird. That should not taste like pea. How do you get a pea flavor? Pea in it? No, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Ew, this is a Kit Kat. Dan won't like these. I. This looks like, I like Kit Kats. cranberry almond, maybe? That doesn't sound good. But I'll give it a whirl. Is there another one? There's another one. Do we need two? Actually, yeah, save that and I'll give it to the boys for Christmas. We'll share this one. That looks like an almond and some cranberries, but we sell, <coughs> we, we sell, sell she, we shall see. <gasps> Ooh, That's look how weird. pretty it is. Okay, so from the bottom, it looks like a Kit Kat, right? Look at the top. It's not focusing very well, but that looks so cool. It's just a normal Kit Kat on the inside. So the flavors are on the top. A hint of the berry. Mm -hmm. Like a hint of the cranberry. Nothing to write home about. Mm -hmm. Nothing Some to write home about. Extra chocolatey Kit Kat. Yeah, the chocolate was thicker than on mm -hmm. our Kit Kats. Next question is the one that I replaced with where you were born. Do you have a hidden talent? Do you have a hidden talent? No, none of my talents are hidden. I have a hidden talent. You want to see it? Oh, God. That's my hidden talent. <laughs> my brother can do it, too. I, I got nothing on that. <laughs> this is Pocky. Is this Pocky? Yeah, I think so that's I it. Hello Kitty. That the... It's Hello Kitty Pocky. I love Pocky. And I won't. This is biscuits with chocolate cream. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, we have to. Oh, no, I don't want to open it because there's a lot in there. Okay. It's just pocky. No, it has, it's, okay. So there's these little biscuit sticks in there. And then you dunk it in chocolate. I can, there's two little compartments in there. It's, pocky has the chocolate on it. Don't open it. So there's. A container of chocolate and a container of sticks. So yeah. It's, so it's make yourself Pocky. Make your own Pocky. Kind of. Well, the chocolate's soft instead of hard, like in Pocky. Then why isn't it on the lid? I want to save it for later. Trust I me, I know I right. like it. I'm, I'm right. You just want to open it. Are you going to help me eat it if you open it? No. Well, then save it for later. I think you're wrong. I think it's just Pocky. I'll share it on Instagram when I do open it because I'm not letting you bully me into opening it. I know that that's what it is. It's what not, else would it be? It's just pocky. Open it. It's just divided pocky. Why would they divide it? Because it's Japan. Who knows? There's nothing liquid in there. It's just pocky. He's such a jerk. Ha! Ha! Who's right? Booyah! Biatch! <laughs> Now I opened it. I so, can't yeah, eat all this. So yeah, you have this. to make it yourself. That's, that's. Oops. Uh huh. Okay, so. You're better off just buying Pocky. It smells really good. No, Pocky's hard. Look. Mm. <laughs> that has really good flavor. 
It, it, it's different than Pocky. It's way different than Pocky. That's really good. That's really good. The flavor of the chocolate is very good. Like, see, now I want to eat them all. Sweet. No, we have this whole box here. Okay. Next. Ew. Wait. Ooh, it looks like a sucker. Or it feels like a sucker. An ice cream? Is that what that is? <laughs> it doesn't really look... Stop it, Dan. It doesn't really look like... Yeah, <laughs> I think it's supposed to be ice cream. Oh, no. Oh, it's hard. Oh, I thought it was squishy. Mm -mm. Is it good? Yeah. Except when you eat it, yeah. Stop it! <laughs> Do you want to try it? No. It's good. It's like a vanilla sucker. That's not going to be disgusting in an hour. You just mind your business. Ooh. This looks savory. Is it pocky? Um, it looks Pocky-ish, but it says poor Ricky. Stop, don't break it. Why are you holding on to it? I want like to touch gonna... it. <laughs> I want to show them this cute little lion. It's not a lion. Look, right here. It's a bear. Ooh, this is interesting. It's a sack in a sack. There's a little tray in here. Oh, oh dude. Uh... They look kind of scary. Here, clinkies. What is a wheat stick? Clinky. <laughs> um. It's interesting. <laughs> no, no. No. Uh -huh. I. I don't know what that flavor is. Wheat flour, brown sugar, palm oil, maltose, skim milk, salt, baking about powder. What that flavor is. Caramel color. Hmm. Dan's dunking it in his hot chocolate. It's the after flavor that's odd. And I don't. That actually helped it. I don't get it. Yeah, it's still in my mouth. Let's try something else. Ugh, I can still taste it. <laughs> this is interesting. It, it's very light, and it looks like that on the package. No! <laughs> oh. Sticks are weird. You mean it the, looks just like the picture? I, weird. I don't like the aftertaste of that thing at all. Okay, oh, this looks good. like chocolate, and it does. It look, it finally, something that looks like the... Mm. Ew, I like it a lot. Oh my you God. Know I love wafer cookies. Like wafers. It's like crispy, wafery. That's good and it's really fun to eat. It's like real light and airy. Go try it. Are you sure? Uh huh. Right. You're going to hate it. Mm. It's like a. Uh, one of those things that you eat. It's like a mix between camping in the freezer, uh, nutty bars. Nutty bars. But not peanut buttery. It's a mix between that and a rice cake. I like it a lot. This is my favorite so far. Hey, now. I thought you didn't like it. I'm sorry I took a bite of your fucking four foot long chocolate. <laughs> it's really, really good. That's my favorite so far. Let's do a question. If you do the tag, you're welcome to do whatever you want. But the question was, what would your parents have named you if you were a boy? I think that's a dumb question. Well, I'm sure there are people on the planet that know what their parents would have named them if they were a boy or a girl, vice versa, whatever. I do not. I have no idea. I changed the question to what one that I think is more fun. In the States, we have this thing called 4-H. And I was in 4-H forever, like from the time I was in third grade, which I think is how old you have to be when you're allowed to join 4-H. Heart, but hands, filth, crap. We just had this conversation the other day too. Who? You and I, nope. because you knew it and I was wrong. Okay, so the 4-H's is, Yeah. I mean, I was in 4-H for all the years. What's the other age? There's a pledge. 
You have to do the 4-H pledge. Yeah, like, so you have a meeting, and I can't remember how often we met. I think it was like once a month. And then you have, you choose things. Head. Heart, health. It goes that way. Head. Oh, head. Head, heart, hands, health. It's like when you go to the fair and stuff. So we have a fair, and there's like animals and all this stuff. The people who don't take animals, I always had animals and one non-animal thing. Like my first one ever was first aid. That was my first 4-H. <laughs> yeah. Which, what do you call them? I'm, it's escaping me. Like when you sign up for the things. Mm -hmm. I took, like the dumb ones I took were first aid, babysitting, laundry. I did um, a cooking one, which we all know how that came out. The animal that I took, that that's what sort of makes the funny tag, is my animal was pigeons. My uncle bred uh, award-winning pigeons. He was on the, uh, the National Pigeon Association. Like, he was on the board. Like, he was big into pigeons. And he gave me a pair of Oriental rollers that were, like, top-notch. The sad thing was that nobody really knew how to judge pigeons in our little fair. So here I had this pair of pigeons that were worth thousands of dollars and they were going up against homing pigeons, which are basically rats with wings. So it was sort of funny. Seagulls. My friends took cows and horses and goats and pigs, pigs. and chickens and bunnies. <laughs> there were like, there was a ton of those and there were only like ever two or three pairs of pigeons. At first glance, I thought these were bagel chips. The cow made me think maybe they were some sort of biscuit. It says fresh cream. We'll wait for Dan to get back. Ditto's chewing on something, and while it might be his toy, it might be something expensive. He's chewing his toy. Uh, Aren't they cute? They're little, little, little baby cookies. They're baby. I bet they're butter cookies. They taste like air. <laughs> yeah, they're just wafers. They're butter cookies, but not like sweet at all. The only thing I could compare them to is like a shortbread cookie kind of, but they're not mm. sweet at all. Waste of calories. Waste of calories. Okay, next question. What's your biggest... Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Dan, you didn't do 4-H. Are you in 4-H? Four-wheelers. Riding them or the engines? Right. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did not have that at our fair. It wasn't at the fair. I mean, we did the fair. We rode in the parade. How did you ride. get judged, though? The judging was uh, for the fair, you did a poster on... Yeah, like engine maintenance or... En like maintenance, engine maintenance, tire maintenance, whatever, uh, safety. Okay. Because we had to wear helmets and gloves and you had to do a safety check before you went out and rode so that you could point at my tires have air, I check my oil, I have my helmet, I have my goggles, I have my gloves. Right, right, right. All that okay. Stuff. So you did a, a poster board, like a science, science fair kind of thing. We we have a man down, which makes me really sad because well, the chocolate was so good, and this is dead. I'm not eating it. Oop. I, yeah, that's too bad. Let's do this. Hello, kitty wafer cookies. These smell so. These smell like strawberry Nesquik. Mm. It's not candy. Clinky. It's a straw. Clinky. Oh. Uh, okay, first off, I thought it was gonna be more wafer-like. I keep trying to chew on the bad side. It's like strawberry flavored cardboard. They smell way better than they taste. The aftertaste <laughs> tastes funny. You know what the berry is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, none of this is going to go to waste. I'm gonna put it in a, the stuff I don't like, we don't like. We're gonna put in a Ziploc bag and take it to Christmas. <laughs> oh, let's uh, do another question. Hello Kitty Bowls. Because there really isn't that much in here. Okay, what is your biggest accomplishment? Which I think is sort of a silly question. Oh, yeah. I don't know. My I'm... biggest accomplishment is you. 
When people birth babies, that would be an accomplishment. Keeping you alive every single day is an accomplishment. Ditto. Get out of here. Go on. We've somehow managed to keep the dogs alive. Is, is that an accomplishment? I mean, Olive's hanging on by a thread. <laughs> and I do have to say, let me address this. You guys were so worried about her because she was whining on the last podcast. Will you stop it? It's driving me nuts. <laughs> That's where I put it to be in with. Because she was whining on the podcast. Yes, she's blind and mostly deaf. But the reason that she was whining, she does that every day at about dinner time. Because of her diabetes, she is on a very strict schedule. She eats at six and six. About an hour before she's set to eat. What are you doing? Ditto's licking the floor licking the floor about an hour before she's actually supposed to eat she starts whining because she knows it's dinner time she is in her retirement stage of life like she's a senior citizen and she does what seniors do once they're put out to pasture which is sleep and eat i was going with wine and poop in their diapers but... okay let's stop talking about depressing stuff because that's gonna make me cry what is your eye color? Obviously, mine is a blue. Uh, depends on what I'm wearing. Yeah, Dan has that weird brown that shifts. It's hazel, but yes. I think the it's color brown. Just, it's, the description is hazel. You can look it up. What color are they right now? They're hazel. Oh, or, well, there you go. I wouldn't really say hazel. Get close. Get real close. Because they look brown as shit from back either. here. Yeah, they 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 have a green tinge to them. I would not say full hazel, but they are definitely like that it's brown. What I'm that wearing, or color. the temperature, or the season, or I don't know what it is. I, somebody tell us. <laughs> but yeah, they, they can be somebody Google that like brownish, grayish, bluish. What is your favorite candle scent? Oh, that's easy. What that cookie one we had a couple of years ago? Sugar cookies from Menard. From Menards, uh, Black Friday, they have jar candles for, I don't know, two or three dollars or something. They're normally seven or eight. For a couple years in a row, I would get a case of jar candles, and they had sugar cookie, and it smelled like sugar cookies. And when you walked into the house, it did. It I... made you hungry. Walking and I, into the house. Which is why I'm not a fan it of it. It was insane. Very I don't good. want a candle that smells like food because it just makes me hungry the so, whole time it's burning. I can pick a different one that you do like. My favorite one? Okay, well, there's that. Yes. I wish they had smell of vision this like one is my all-time favorite. Or something. Yes, it is Mark Twain, and there's... It's called Paddy Wax Library, Mark Twain. And this one is Tobacco Flower and Vanilla. And it is my all-time favorite. Now, if I need to pick like a line of scents, I am an earthy person. So I want yeah. patchouli, sandalwood, cedarwood, those kind of earthy. Uh, Woodwick has candles that smell a lot like that. Woodwick has all scents. Right, but they have two or three that are earthy and... and Old booky like that. It smells like old books. Let me see. Less in the jar than when it's burning, but it smell. It reminds you of an old timey bookstore, like Hyde Brothers walking into. I so we have it. a bookstore in town. It's it's got to be the biggest biggest bookstore in the world. The biggest bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> it was cute. Keep going. I want to get that eyebrow hair so bad. I don't know what they have. Probably eight or nine thousand square feet by now. They keep buying buildings next to them and then knocking a wall out and expanding and expanding. The shelves are all cinder blocks and two by sixes and they're about this far apart. Like if you're gonna pass somebody, you both have to turn. I can't believe it's not You a both have to turn answer. sideways and then you just about rub each other walking through. It has it to be grandfathered in 12 or something. Feet, 12 foot tall stacks and it is just it's an old used books bookstore. Everywhere. Like old used bookstore. And they have all kinds of weird books. Look them up. They're on the internet. They sell on eBay and Amazon. Oh, do they? And oh yeah, collectors books. And it's that bookstore books and that rare books and weird books. <coughs> Excuse me. It's that bookstore that 
it it's like a whole bunch of rooms and there's like just random cats. You're like, random oh, cats are hello, around. kitty. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and I am a lover of any store that has an animal in it. If there's a store that has an animal in it, like I immediately love the store. Can you cook? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know my answer. That is a big fat hell no. Dan can cook. It's a little more impaired when drinking. For the most part, Dan can cook. What is good about your life right now? Well, there's like a million things good about my life right now, but I also think that's a dumb question because there's always good and bad, right? I guess I will say my advent calendar right now, I'm super excited about and I will be opening that after we do this. Y'all are probably following along on Instagram with me, right? Right, right? What's good about your life right now? You, baby. Aw, I love you. See? But see, right now, it's always. You're always good about my life. Yeah, that's true. It would be bad if you were not. It would. Kiss me, damn it. Close enough. What is your sign? Well, I am a Pisces. Peace. Dan is an Aries. For those of you who don't know much about Aries, Aries are extremely intelligent and they are oftentimes know-it-alls because of that or seen as know-it-alls because they are so intelligent. That's not me at all. They are also very prone to hurting themselves because yeah. they know it all and they push themselves to the limit of getting hurt. And in sports, they will typically choose, not always, but typically you will find an Aries in a singular sport versus a team sport. And that's because they are so driven to be the best at what they're doing that when a team member like Fs up, it drives them insane. That's why Dan is a runner and he did speed skating and he cycles. A lot of Aries are wrestlers, those sort of singular, singular sports. Pisces, for those of you who don't know about Pisces, are extremely sensitive and emotional, which is why I cry at like, yeah, we're a little crazy. We're super psychic and intuitive. So us being into crystals and tarot. You're psychic. What number am I thinking of? Seven. Not even close. You are lying. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Not all of us, but some of us. Our heads in the clouds. We're very dreamy. Which is why Dan heads and in the I. Clouds, that's for her. Which is why Dan and I work so well together because my head's always in the clouds. I keep dragging her down. And he just keeps pulling me back down to earth. Let's open another snack. There's two drinks in here. Yeah, I'm not doing drinks. That's all you. Oh, it's a carbonated soft drink. I don't want to waste it. I'll do these on an Instagram at glass. Christmas so that everyone can try it That's because, good. yeah, it's glass. It's cool. And this, there's like this. I like it. Oh, I like what? the bottle. I don't get it. Is that for superior grip? Ooh, yeah. Hello for an kid. even more delicious, this drink, chill before drinking. The other thing is I'm not a big soda drinker, right? Well, I, I don't drink soda and neither does Dan. I would rather share this with family so that we can all try it because I would take one sip out of it and not finish it. I'm... How to open, peel off the seal, lift off the green cap, and push down the center to release the opener. Place the opener onto the top of the rum yun bottle and press down firmly with your palm. This will open the bottle by dislodging. The stopper. Keep pressing for five seconds. Remove the green opener from the bottle and discard. So we'll definitely be doing a video on this because it sounds like a process, doesn't it? Oh, look, it, it has sugar, sugar, citric acid, and, and high fructose corn syrup. What scares you about aging? Uh... Back to that whole screaming and pooping your diapers thing? Yeah, that, that doesn't sound fun. We're almost done. You just chill out, little boy. What scares me about aging is dying. It's not actually dying, it's being dead. That probably scares me the most. Because I feel like being dead would be boring. Like, what are you gonna do? That sounds so boring to me. 
What is your favorite holiday? Ooh, I like Halloween. I don't really have a favorite holiday. This is, this is my surprise face. Yeah. He's kind of like meh for everything. However, he is always the one that wants to put the tree up. I, yeah, I suppose I, Christmas, if anything, would probably be. He's the one jamming out to Christmas music. That's true. Yeah. I, where Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Yeah, whereas I'm not. What is your guilty pleasure? All of them? <laughs> I mean, what 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 is, what is a guilty pleasure? Is that like Peg Bundy eating a entire thing of bonbons on the couch? Like, I don't understand what that is. Yeah. Do you have a guilty pleasure? You, baby. What's your guilty pleasure? How many of your answers are me? <laughs> All of them I can work in. <laughs> Oh, I know you don't mean it, but it's the thought that counts. Don't lick me. What is your favorite show to binge watch? Currently? Currently we're on NCIS. NCIS. I think we're on the seventh season of like 15 or we're something. We're at the end of the seventh season. What are you eating? He's always up to no good. <laughs> but before I... that it was... Marvelous Miss Mabel, which has Se a new season yes. out. Yes. Or no, um, three. Is it three? Whatever season, three. the new season. Jack Ryan, that has a new season. Yeah, we're behind. Uh, uh, Game of Thrones doesn't have a new season. Yeah, we binged that. Mm -hmm. And that's actually one that you can rewatch and get so much more yeah. from. Because you watched, what, three seasons or so? And then I started on it. <laughs> What are you crying for? Attention. He wants to go Olive cries because she wants to eat. Ditto is crying because he's like, why aren't you paying attention to me? Well, let's try and get through this here. Here's more Kit Kat. This looks like, it says Sublime Ruby, but is that like a bubble gum or something? What, what is this? Ooh. Uh, no fun top, but it's pink. Ooh, white chocolate. Mmm. Eat it. I don't want that to fall on the floor. I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't know what that tastes like. Hmm. Tastes like dirt. A lot of this stuff tastes really good while you're eating it, but then the after flavor is sort of odd. Wouldn't suggest whatever that is. It just doesn't taste like anything, that's all. It's not very flavorful. Yeah. I mean, you can tell it's chocolate and wafer. There's not really anything mm. stand out about mm. the... These little guys, I have no idea. They look like little little pink Hang on. balls we're gonna of things. We're going to do one of these. We're, we're, we're mixing it up here. What is the one thing you can't leave the house without? My phone. I'm going with clothes. Knitting. Literal Dan. Well... You leave the house naked very often? I would, if I could. And I have left the phone. That is true. The phone. I, I have left the house without, clothes. without my phone before. Yeah, in the 80s. How do you open this? Usually there's like, oh, oh, you open it upside down. Well, you open it right side up. They print it upside down. These are... These are the Hello Kitty balls, right? Yes. What? They smell like strawberry. Hence so the, the picture of the strawberry. Like well, it's weird because they look burnt. Like, let me show you. Like, this way they look pink, but the bottom and the top, those are all right. Are you trying to be dirty? Mm. What are you trying to do? You know what? Is this a bowl of cereal? Mm. I don't know, but that'd be good cereal. I mean, this It'd could get soggy be... fast. This could be... It'd get soggy super fast. Stick one in your mouth and just don't chew it. See how long it takes to sog up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And after 10 or 15 seconds, it kind of tastes like chalk. Yeah, they're like powdery or oh, something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's maybe candy somewhere else. Hang on, we got a bunch of these to go through. Um, Lots a of silly strawberry question. and Hello Kitty. Are you a morning person or a night owl? I'm a little of both. I guess I wouldn't really ever call myself a morning person. I I would I would say a night owl over a morning person for sure. But I'm not like mean or anything in the morning. <laughs> hey honey, get up. You that's because you have to wake me up nice. I do. You yank the covers off and say, Get up! Yeah, he'll like rip the covers off of me and turn the light on. I do turn the light on. It's like freezing with a spotlight in my face. That's not, not waking freezing. me up nice. It's in the 60s. That's not waking me up nice. 
What do you want me to do? I would definitely say Dan. I'm just going to go ahead and Get answer for Dan. Yes. Yes, Get baby. You never wake up. Baby, come on. Come on. Like you do it. I turn nice. the lights on, open the blinds, yank the blankets off, and it still takes you 45 damn minutes to wake up. If I went like this, you'd never get up. Why would you want me to wake up mean? Because I'm on my way out the door. I don't care. <laughs> Dan is definitely a morning person and turns into a pumpkin at 9 o'clock. 8.30. I mean, he's this guy. Yeah, and follow her on Instagram if you want to see it because she makes fun of me all the time. I only send that fun. to people who love you. These... Looks super interesting. So there's a whole bunch of them in there, individually wrapped. They look like little rice cakes, and I thought it was a sandwich oh. at first, but there's nothing in between them. So we'll just open one. Look at the little fish cakes. Fish They're cakes. almost weightless. Yeah, they Here. look like little rice cake. Ditto would like some. Here, we'll give Ditto the first taste. They're hmm. crunchy. They didn't die. Oh, they. They well, smell like rice cakes. While you're eating about that, eat, while you're eating that, think about your favorite movie genre. Ooh, I will. And then okay. break that in half. Or so break me off a little piece of that. It ooh. Wafer thingy. So it looks like a rice cake, but it has like little strawberry something somethings. It's got grill marks on it. It's a rice cake. But I like rice cakes. Oh, totally a rice cake. And there's just a little hint of that strawberry stuff. Mm -hmm. I'll totally eat these. Mm -hmm. I'll totally eat these. These are good. These oh. are second. Oh, they go good, but. These are second. These are ranked second so far. The first is that chocolate rice cakey thing. The giant stick. Mm -hmm. You go ahead and throw that in anywhere. What's your favorite movie genre? Mm. Rice cakes are us? I would say like psychological crime stuff. I basically love the serial entire, killers. yeah, serial killers. I basically love the entire investigation discovery channel. What's yours? Oh, uh, oh, and that's movie, not show, but whatever we turn There's into movies show. though. Movie genre for me is totally action. I like mm. comedy. Action second. What's one with uh, Bruce Willis and Danny Glover? That's a uh, favorite this time of year. Nakatomi, die Hard? Nakatomi Building. Yeah, Die Hard. Danny Glover's not in that, is he? It's Carl Winslow from Family Matters. He's the cop. Is that it? Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, and well, Al anyway, Rickman. That type of stuff. Where it's campy, a little campy, mostly funny. I'm sorry, I keep looking out here. The neighbors have a light bulb that's like... Sending him all. into an epileptic yeah, seizure. Yeah, right. I want to go over and unscrew it before it burns her house down. But yeah, action-y, comedy-y, can't Le be. Lethal weapon-y. Uh, Deadpool is great, super campy, mm -hmm. good jokes, like cameras, part of the crew. I also love, and some of you, you're gonna have to wait. He wants another rice cake. Some of you may already know this about me, but I love 80s movies. And when I say 80s movies, I mean like bad 80s teen movies. All right, while you go on this rant, I'm gonna go let him out real quick. That's it, that's how I'm done. Quick rant. It wasn't a rant, I just like bad 80s movies. <laughs> All right, uh, what was the last thing you bought? A Christmas present. For who? I don't know. What's the last thing you bought? Fuel. Fuel. Oh, wait, no, I lied. It was a gallon of milk. Yesterday? Yep, I bought a gallon of milk yesterday. There you go, all right. I haven't bought anything today. Milk. Milk. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Funny you should ask. <laughs> I Hilarious. Used, I used to think I, well, wait a minute. Oh yeah, you answered that, right? What? We're answering these for all of you as well, right? Bro, I can't answer yeah, yeah, yeah. for all of them. Okay. I don't know I what they bought. Of One of them bought yarn, pretty sure of that. I'm betting someone out there bought needles. I haven't bought yarn in a long time because I'm on a spending spree. A car. Did anyone buy a car? What's the question? Which one? Oh, introvert or extrovert. I used to think I was an extrovert because 
I'm like super outgoing, right? I have no problem going into a bar by myself, sitting at a bar and striking up a conversation with the bartender. Like that's just me. But then I did research on what actually an introvert and an extrovert is. I am definitely an introvert. While I like being out in the public, it's thoroughly exhausting to me. And I recharge, that's what it is. Like, do you recharge being in the public or do you recharge being by yourself? I definitely recharge being by myself. I'm an introvert. I do both and go either way. Go both ways? Sometimes. Over 13 years, I'm just now finding this out. You knew this? Uh, no, I, during the winter, I'm mostly an introvert. And during the summer, I'm mostly an extrovert. You have a hard time not finding me in a crowd over the summer. See, and during the winter, you are enough people yeah. to drive me nuts. Dan is sort of interesting because he's that guy that wants to be out in public. I'm totally fine staying at home. But a lot of times he will drag me into the public when I don't want to go into the public. And then I'm the one that has to do the peopling and he just stands there. It's like you're the one that wanted to come and I'm the one that's doing all the work of peopling. It has happened. We have one more question let's, let's and one more the, thing. The weirdo mini moon pies. They look like little moon pies. Chocolate coated pie. Oh, they're individually packaged in little Hello Kitty Ooh, so wrappers. Right Dan that's will not like this. wrapped cookies. I'll take a oh. bite of one. I used to eat moon pies. And then I found out what they were made from and stopped. It looks just like a moon yeah, pie, y'all. No, it's a lottie pie. Moon pie. Marshmallow. Cookie. Chocolate. Yeah, it's a moon pie. Exactly. Yep. Really? That's a moon pie. That's a moon pie. Baby! You're getting it everywhere! A dog will get it. I mean, you are covered in it. No, I'm not. You're vacuuming. Really? Really? Are we watching this? <laughs> Got that on video. <laughs> What's your favorite book, weirdo? I should not have fed that to Ditto, but I really did not want it. You gave him a moon pie? Oh. Ditto just okay. got his first moon pie. Dude eats rocks. He'll be fine. That's true, but they have to be cut out of him at great cost. My favorite book. That's sort of a trick question, I think. How was it a trick question? Because how do you pick just one? I can't. My adult book, if I were to pick an adult book, it would be The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. I love it. They made a movie. Don't base your opinion on that. The book is mm -hmm. very good. I read the book many, many years before the movie came out. I am a fantasy lover. My favorite series is The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I love mm. it. And it is a Which collection of books. she just released a whole nother selection of. Yes. And is on tour with right now. And, and. Is not in Fort Wayne or anywhere near us. No, but do you know who where like she is Boston near? Boston is the closest thing she okay. can do. Okay, Dan's, no, she's not in Boston. I didn't see Boston on there. Okay. You said you said Boston. You just said Boston was the closest thing. To us. Yeah, I don't think she's in Boston. Not currently. But she was. Dan's brother is in a suburb of St. Louis, and she is going to be like 15 minutes away from them. Oh, I didn't know that. Really? I text Kara and said that she should take Kate. Kate's his niece. And she also when? loves the Lunar Chronicles. Uh, March. Let's go. Marissa Meyer. Look her up. She's on tour. She's pretty cool. I like her books. The Lunar Chronicles especially. And I want to. I want them to be a movie. Oh, I like Ready Player One, too. That's a great yeah. book. Yeah. That's another one where the the book is better than... Well... Uh, that was a good show. The book and the movie are both good for Ready Player One. The book and the movie are both good. I think that you should read the book and then see the movie mm -hmm. because you know going in that the movie is going to be purely visual. And that's also what I feel about the Lunar Chronicles. They had audio. If you read the book and go see the movie, it's for the visual effects. It's it's to see what you've read. Versus and that's, the smell of vision. That's what movies are. They're visual. That's why we call them movies. Okay. Y'all get what I mean, right? 
let's go. We're out of we snacks and we're out of questions. Thank you so, so much for tagging along for the ride and for being interested in these shenanigans. I tag you if you wanna do a video. I would love to watch it because I like to get to know people outside of the fibery stuff. We know a lot of the fibery stuff about people, but we don't know who you are outside of that. So that's always fun. Always fun. Any final words? I'm right on top of that, Rose. <laughs> Name that movie. And on that, peace out. Babe, could you dork it up anymore? Are you playing Minecraft and watching Doctor Who at the same time? <laughs> we forgot to include your favorite book. What's your favorite book? Uh, well, golly. Um, we didn't answer it for you. Favorite book? Um, Tuesdays with Maury or Everything I Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. I figured you'd say Eat Sheets and Leaves. Oh, that's a good one, but not my favorite. Gotcha. Okay, there you have it, folks.